Wait. I have another theory. I'm gonna be so wrong with like all these theories. What if there Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Wednesday, season one, episode five. This one is called You Reap What You Woe. You Reap What You Woe. If you have not watched if you have not watched the last episode with me, go ahead and click right up here, my friends. Go to give that a watch, then come back and hang out with me. Um, I am so excited to get in to this episode. I'm really enjoying this show. Um, I have heard mixed reviews on it. Some people really love it. Some people don't love it so much. I'm assuming if you're watching this, these with me, you really love it too. So um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, let's get into um, episode five. If you uh, are watching on Patreon, thank you, my friends. I appreciate you so much. Mwah. If you are subscribed and are keep coming back to my channel, thank you so much. I love you, my friends. And if you want to check out my Patreon for uncut reactions, including Wednesday shows, uh, the link is below. I think that's it. Let's get to Wednesday. I'm very excited. Grab your coffee, my friends. Mm. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, grab your snacks, and let's get to it. Cheers. How well do we really know our parents? <laughs> Good question. Oh yeah, and so we left off still not knowing who the monster is, so. What really happened that stormy night? Are we going in the past? Ooh, this will be interesting. Uh oh. So that was obviously supposed to be Gwendolyn Christie. <laughs> As a younger lady. Up, Marcia. I don't know what to say, Gomez. Seeing you in handcuffs, accused of murder. I've never loved you more. Oh my god. <laughs> Still got the same smile. How funny. I really wonder how long they're going to keep us waiting, knowing who the monster is. I think I've talked about that before, but. <laughs> It'll probably be the last episode. <laughs> of course. I hope Wednesday's happy to see us. I left a dozen messages on her crystal ball, still in her reply. <laughs> I still think it's her. I, I still think it's her. But I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend and is expected to make a full recovery. Oh, he didn't die? Wait, how is that possible? On the mend, try in a coma. Oh, he's in a coma? I'm just shocked he's alive. Candle smells delicious. Thanks, Mary, if you're watching. <laughs> I knew I should have worn my plague mask. <laughs> Did you look at my family? Talk about toxic pack mentality. Anyway, yeah, I'm shocked he's alive. He was... Like it looked like his frickin' stomach there just like ripped is. open. Oh, how we missed those accusing eyes and youthful sneer. My darling daughter. Oh. I made it. Guess she showed up. I guess she misjudged her. She doesn't look happy. Unfortunately, Wednesday's assimilation has been rocky at best. We've always encouraged Wednesday to speak her mind. Sometimes a sharp tongue can cut deep. <laughs> Dr. Kimbert and I have spoken. Well, and that's we both true. agree it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. Oh, no. God. What can it hurt? I mean, to be honest, I've always been a big fan of head shrinking. It's not that kind of head shrinking, mon chéri. 
<laughs> oh, is he thinking of like you. actual heads? But anything for a That's little. funny. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. What's wrong? It's hard to stomach a murderer wandering around town scot free. You got the results already? All right. Tape off the scene, I'll be right there. The yeah. scene? You okay? What's going on? You know, Reggie, another the coroner? attack? He just blew his brains out. Oh, no. I wonder if it was a setup because he maybe was getting close to finding out who the monster was. Who wants to start? I think it's high time my parents faced the music. It seems they've been lying to me. Mm. Who was Garrett Gates and why are you accused of murdering him? Whoa. <laughs> Your father's an innocent man. Local sheriff doesn't seem too convinced. This is neither the time nor the place. Actually, this is exactly the place. These sessions Doctor. are- this does not concern you. This session is over. Thanks for the candy. Actually, that's potpourri. Oh, he was eating potpourri. <laughs> oh my god. Eating potpourri. That's disgusting. Well, did you really think I wouldn't find out your secret? You don't know the full story. Don't tell the her. I'll be the judge of that. Doesn't do any good to hide things from your children. I mean, unless they're like really horrible. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Well, like if he's innocent and like she, they can explain the story, just tell her. Because trying to hide it is just making her more suspicious, you know? Have an open discussion. My siren song is drying up. Recruitment numbers are way down, and the wrong people are starting to ask questions. I finally make something of myself, and you want to destroy it. You haven't made squat, Bianca. <laughs> so I'm getting the feeling she's not the best mother. A siren can never change her scales. You got until the end of the weekend to say your goodbyes. I harvested hive number three. Oh, good. She went. The bees miss you, Eugene. I guess I'm shocked he's alive. I'll do. He didn't deserve this. Mm -mm. I'm glad he's alive. I'm just shocked. First time someone's killed themselves in the morning. <laughs> guys don't know what to do with I them. mean, at least you're already there. I don't know. It's so bad. He's playing on a cruise with his wife. He seemed all excited about retirement. Yeah, I doubt he actually I never really know killed himself. Someone's mind. I think someone killed him. Camera was obscured. Black bubble gum. Suspicious. Black bubble gum. Who eats black I bubble gum? Say. Suicide note says he felt guilty about an old case. What case? Uh, Garrett Gates. Oh no, is that Garrett Gomez? Gates, you gotta be kidding me. Now whoever killed the coroner is trying to get Gomez to be found guilty of the old murder. Very interesting. Spying on your mother, Wednesday? Oh. It was the murder victim. We need to tell her. Yep. She'll never believe us. Just tell her the truth. Oh no, are they coming to arrest him? Don't miss Adam. Uh oh. You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. I wonder if maybe they were fighting over him and Garrett Gates? Were fighting over Morticia, maybe? Because he had a sword and they were like. Seemed like they might have been oh, 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 on the roof. My little tormenta, how's your mother? 
Devastated. She hates you, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> My God. She hates you in orange. Just tell her the truth. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. Told you. He mistook her kindness for interest. Oh. Started stalking her. Why didn't you call the police? We tried. But his family was the oldest and richest in Jericho. Oh. Okay. He had broken into the school. His twisted love for your mother had made him insane. Go! Get out of here! He won't hurt me! Uh oh no! My life flashed before my eyes. Driven by jealousy and hate, Garrett was unstoppable. When I saw the sword, my survival instinct kicked in. Oh no. It was a terrible accident. Eeks. If I'm being objective, his confession sounds entirely plausible. Delivered with the perfect degree of sincerity. But then there's the matter of his tells. The way he smooths his mustache. The way he delivers a comforting wink. <laughs> I've been playing Russian roulette with him since I was 12. I know them well. So he's not telling the truth? I hope that wasn't foreshadowing, by the way. About, um, a normie. My father did not kill Garrett Gates. Getting obsessed with Wednesday's mom and breaking into the school. I hope that a normie is not going to be obsessed with Wednesday. Tyler and eventually go crazy and break into the school <sighs> or maybe I'm just reading too much into it but if that storyline happens I called it I found the monster's cave and I gave you the DNA evidence did you even bother to test it here DNA results no match inconclusive Whoever hurt Eugene also murdered the coroner. Unfortunately, someone sabotaged the security camera in the morning, so we don't know gum. what happened. Black bubble gum. Garrett Gates' family deserves closure. What happened to them? Every last one of them's gone. Hmm. Huh. Wait. <laughs> I have another theory. I'm gonna be so wrong with like all these theories. What if Garrett's little sister is the teacher, who I think is a monster with the glasses? Summer camp? Oh, Happy Wolf Summer Camp? Send me to conversion therapy for werewolves. It worked wonders for your cousin Lucille, didn't it? Don't you want a wolf out and finally be normal, honey? I think you want it way more than she does. Just accept your daughter as she is. My goodness. I always thought I'd be the first one in the family behind bars. Lurch and I had a bet going. <laughs> if anyone can figure out who really committed the crime, it's you. You have to mm -hmm. find out the truth and free dad. I was going to say, or... Instead of him going into a penitentiary, you could clear his good name, Wednesday. Hello, Wednesday. So you're a nightshade. Actually, I rejected them. Why? Because I was a member? I'll never live up to your legacy here. It's not a competition, Wednesday. Everything is a competition, Mother. But mostly I rejected them because they're a trivial social club. <laughs> I was going to say, tell her the real reason. Father didn't kill Garrett Gates, did he? Well, maybe she did. No. I found your father fighting for his life. It was terrifying. Oh, Garrett, no! I'll never forget the way he looked at me. He was even foaming at the mouth. Foaming at the mouth? It was like I was staring into the eyes of a rabbit beast. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I might have been right. Foaming at the mouth. Maybe he was maybe he was about to turn into the monster, so they have to be related. The monster and Garrett are related, I think. That's my theory. Your father was so calm and brave. Your father took the blame in order to protect me. Hmm. Well, maybe it wasn't rage at all. Foaming saliva, dilated pupils, mental confusion. What are those all textbook symptoms of? How can that be? There's only one way to find out. What? Monster? Rabies. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Not surprising. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna get caught in the frickin' cemetery. Hello, Garrett. What are they? I was right. What are they doing? What do we uh oh. Have here? Told you. Wait, right about what? I didn't see anything. Except a dead body. Oh my god, look at them in the background. <laughs> Oh my god. Do our little jailbird will have an escape plan? What is that? It's a souvenir from our outing. He died from nightshade poisoning. Oh. Remarkable preservation of soft tissue and blue tint confirms it. Garrett was dying. Before you stabbed him. Who poisoned him? Okay, so I guess he wasn't a monster. Uh oh. To me, you're still worthy to be called my son. Kill all those outcasts. Oh. Wednesday. Wednesday. He wasn't just trying to kill father. Everybody. He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. Hmm. Interesting. Garrett Gates wasn't killed by a stab wound. That blue sheen is a telltale sign of nightshade poisoning. But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh-oh. Ansel Gates hated outcasts and nevermore. Garrett went there that night to spike the punch and kill all the kids at that dance. So he knows? You knew the truth about how he really died. My job was to keep the peace. Now, if there had been a trial, both Jericho's and Nevermore's reputations would have been trashed. No. What I resent is that you could have prevented Garrett's death if you had done yeah. your job when I lodged my complaint about him stalking me. What do you want? All charges dropped. Deal or no deal? Sometimes when I touch someone or something, I get these very violent glimpses from the past or future. I don't know how to control it. You're a raven. Your visions are more potent, more powerful. Hmm. Somebody from our bloodline reaches out from beyond to help us when we're ready. So, your daughter and my son are very close. Come. Close. I pity any boy who gets caught in her viper's <laughs> cave, but he must be a good egg. Mm-hmm. Telling you, the daughter must be somebody in the show. I mean, you know, the sister of, of Garrett. Garrett? Gareth? Garrett? Don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push it with the hug. I knew you didn't have what it takes to be a murderer. As much as that stings, <laughs> as my little death trap. Uh, you have your own path. To I hope Eugene recovers. I'm only a crystal ball away. Thank you, Mother. I knew it. Oh, did you find something? I did witness Roan getting murdered that night. When Rowan appeared the next morning, it was you. Uh huh. You're a shapeshifter. Mm hmm. 
Rowan's father already knows what happened, and he fully supports my decision not to involve the authorities. Why would he agree to that? Because Rowan is not in his right mind. Burying bodies to cover your dirty secrets. Yep. Uh oh, what's going on? Raven. Fire will rain. Oh man. Well, shoot. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. Wow, another good episode of Wednesday. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Still don't know who the monster is. <laughs> Unless I'm just not picking up on clues that they're putting down. You know what I mean? I could be missing some pretty significant clues. I don't think I am, but maybe I am. I do have theories though, as you heard during the episode. I still think that uh, the little sister of Garrett was it Garrett or Gareth? Now I can't remember. But the the guy that Morticia killed is at the school. She's either at the school or she's in the town. She's somehow, I feel like she's somehow in the community. Maybe waiting for her chance to get revenge on Morticia or on Gomez. And that could be by hurting Wednesday you know, to get revenge for her brother. So I do feel like that storyline is going to go somewhere. I could be totally wrong, but that's how I feel. I still think the monster is, uh, I, I always forget her name, but the teacher with the glasses, Christina Rishi's character. And maybe she's the sister. Maybe she's the sister, I don't know. But yeah, very interesting episode. What else? Oh, the storyline with Enid and her parents uh, is interesting. I feel like, you know, I don't like her mom. Her mom's pushing her to just be somebody she's not, you know, and I hate when parents do that. I also, the storyline with Bianca is interesting. Bianca's not my favorite character, but uh, it definitely seems like she has a shitty mom, so you know, that goes a long way in um, how kids act. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that, with that side story. If it's going to be more involved or if it's just like a little side story that they're throwing in there. I'm not sure. Um, I really, really hope that Eugene recovers. Like I can't even believe he's alive, to be honest. I, I really thought he was dead from last episode. I really, really thought that he was dead. So I'm glad he's at least alive. He's in a coma, but yeah, I hope that the monster doesn't like sneak into the hospital and finish the job, so to speak. Uh, I really hope they don't go that way. I want him to recover, but um, mm, I don't know. This is interesting. All right, I'm excited for the next episode. So that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching with me. If you enjoyed it and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button. It is very much appreciated. Uh, if you would like to watch these episodes in full with me, um, plus all the other shows that I'm watching and any movies uh, coming up, Go ahead and check out my Patreon. You can watch everything in full with me. There's also bonus content over there and early access to videos and much more Patreon only shows right there. Um, so go check it out if you're interested. It's a great way to help support me if you're able to. And that is about it, my friends. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next episode. Hi friends.